I'm Professor Vokas, and this is Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Hello, Professor. I didn't see you there. As you can see, nearly done with the event. Got the 12,500 wizarding experience. Certainly just got that just playing normally. Didn't have to specifically go after that. We do have five images to place though. We actually have four images. I have to open up one more port key. It's already open, we just need to open it. And then the great abublios, which we're gonna move from my coffee spot here, but we're gonna place the images right here. So for the images, I have all of my four out of five fragments of the port key fragment, and I have one left because if you don't get to walk these and you don't get to see the inside, this is a pretty cool one, so we're gonna go ahead in now. I have the gyroscope turned off because I'm sitting so we can just go into it easier, but it is Weasley's Wizarding Wheezes, and you can see looking around, it's just got a lot of the different, different wares that they have. Look, the decoy detonator, detonators are down there. A bunch of other stuff that they sell, the you know poo, that uh, toilet right there. But one of the biggest things I wanted to point out, because if you just go in this quickly and you back out, you might not see it, is this this person going back and forth with like scales. And it's actually Dolores Umbridge, because you remember they left in quite dramatic fashion from Hogwarts. Um, and they ended up putting her up there kind of to make fun of her. So she is up there, which is just cool looking. So if you didn't get a chance, you know, this is your chance to kind of see what it looked like. And there's Dolores Umbridge in their shop going back and forth with the scales there. Nice. So you can see five out of five of the Peruvian instant darkness powder display. So let's back out and go place those images. I'm sure you guys have noticed this odd little bug where the trunk, you can see it's off to the left there. It's odd because sometimes I still have them in the middle, but a majority of the time they're over there on the left side. They've just non-centered themselves. Since we began the event, there hasn't been any talk about like where Ron is or anything that they've done. But I imagine during placing these images, we might at least get some insight into what's going on because there just hasn't been anything on the story. I'm guessing it'll go to the second part before we actually get Ron back. Let's start with the puking pastels display because that's the first one I finished. The fact that this surge is centered on Weasley's wizard wheezes, the very place where Ron was abducted from, can't be a coincidence. If you remember after Ron's brother died, one of the two, um, he ended up leaving the ministry and going and helping his brother run Wizard, Weasley's Wizard Wheezes with him as one of the co-managers. It does seem like the Unforgivable are sending us a message, doesn't it? This surge is more than a message, it's a taunt, a reminder that they were able to get the better of us. The Unforgivable don't want us to forget that Ron's fate is in their hands. It's funny, the Unforgivable did all this to intimidate us into stopping our investigation, but I'm more motivated to bring them to justice than ever. That's the spirit, Hermione. We'll get Ron back. I'm sure of it. Seems like they should be more worried about this, but they seem a little more casual, I guess, although you can't really read tone from just text. Uh, let's go ahead and place proprietor George. George reached out to me. He's been able to recall a memory he knows he never had ever since that last foundable was returned to him. In it, a wizard in a robe indicates that the Ministry and the Unforgivable both have something the other wants. He concludes by saying that he'll be in touch with further details on how we can get that something. Sounds like the Unforgivable are proposing a trade, doesn't it? Ron for complete control of the Calamity. I wish I could say I've never entertained this, but with all our attempts to rescue Ron turning up nothing so far, we'd be daft not to at least consider it. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, let's place Arthur Weasley next. I got him out of the fortresses. Arthur reached out to me. The Unforgivable must have implanted a false memory in his foundable because he has a distinct recollection of Ron warning that the Unforgivable can't guarantee his safety if we don't do exactly as they say. How despicable, delivering their ultimatum like that. Arthur and Molly are both devastated. Ginny's trying to assure them, but she's anxious too. Hermione, I know I said we shouldn't give in to the Unforgivable's demands, but I'm having second thoughts. Ron... Ron wouldn't want us to abandon our principles, especially not for his sake. I don't know if the message Arthur received is a result of Polyjuice or the Imperious Curse, but there are two things I'm certain of. First, that Ron did not deliver that message of his own free will. And second, that the Unforgivable will continue to prey on our emotions until they get what they want. Um, and then we'll go to the Peruvian Instant Dark Powder from the Port Keys that I just got. Since this surge began, I found myself overanalyzing every foundable, wondering if it's some sort of subtle sign from the Unforgivable. Take this Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder display, for example. Did the Unforgivable include it simply because it's a fixture at Weasley's Wizard Wheezes? Or are they trying to make a statement about that their darkness is spreading? 
Is the love potion stand merely that, or is it a hint that the Unforgivable have Ron spelled and under their control? Perhaps I will take Constance up on her offer of a cup of chamomile tea after all. Chamomile? Chamomile? And the love potion display is last. Thousand experience. See where the trunk appears for this one. Hang on, let's let it rank up in the background. Oh, the trunk is in the middle there, you can see, but that's that scene. I stopped by the joke shop again. George has been asking the regulars about Ron. Apparently one recalled seeing him with the with you right before he went missing. Sounds like Polyjuice. That's impossible, I was at the ministry at the time. Ron's abductor must have used Polyjuice potion, Polyjuice potion to impersonate me, just like Ginny's attempted abductor took on the appearance of her editor in chief. I had to move, There's, there were some lab people around me uh, in my previous spot, so I just moved to a different table around the corner. That explains how they were able to catch a former Auror off guard, but Polyjuice potion requires a piece of the person you want to transfigure into in order to work. Wouldn't that mean that it's likely I crossed paths with a member of the Unforgivable and didn't even know it? Yes. The other thing about Polyjuice is it takes so long to brew, you would have to like, I mean, a month in advance, you're gonna have to uh, be ready for it, I guess. So that's all five images. When we back out, we should get some final story text here. I'm not sure who I'm more upset with, the Unforgivable for using Ron to manipulate us or myself to considering giving in to their demands. You're just desperate to get Ron back safely. I am too. After all, this is the longest we've been apart since we went our separate ways during the Horcrux hunt. That's the problem. The Unforgivable are leveraging our desperation to make the terms. Terms they'll break or modify whenever the need arises. So what do we do? We can't exactly stop caring about Ron now, can we? For now, we continue pouring our resources into finding Ron. With any luck, we'll find him before the second wave of the surge begins. If we don't, well, we'll think of something. Yeah, so it'll be the second surge. So the only thing I have left now, we've placed the five images, let's get that Barufios. And then the last thing I have is these great Abublios. It's actually 1221 you can see in the corner, so uh, again, waiting till the last minute. But I know I can get 16 Abublio casts. But not great spawns around here. There's some decent stuff right here. But if you can see I'm 75 out of 255 energy in the corner. This is actually very close to Waverly Place. So I'm going to finish up this coffee and scone and then we're going to head over to Waverly Place to actually get the rest of these Abublios. That didn't take too long. Definitely an abundance of Abublio casts to be had. Although one of those, I will say, I did four Masterfuls in a row, didn't return it. I needed five more. I knew I needed five more, so I hit an Abublio Foundable, and I'm like, all right, I'll you know, hopefully get one more here. Four Masterfuls, didn't return it. Great, didn't return it. Another Masterful, finally returned it. So I got all five on that last one. It was also a green, it was a green barred Abublio. So really, I should have probably returned it prior to that, which normally would annoy me that I did that many casts and not return it, except in this very rare situation. But still, that, that probably should have been returned earlier than that. But overall, didn't run out of Abublios to be cast. There were still more even after I finished that I was clicking on some others and just returning them, not on video, but 
definitely an abundance of them here toward the end of the event. About 30 minutes to go, we have finished up. So let's go ahead and get this potent extimulo, which I can really use because the adversary event starts in 30 minutes. And then let's go ahead and collect our final rewards, which really is the five defense against the dark arts books, and then five more of the um, port key foundable. So I'll be able to place that image again if I want. I'll probably just leave it for now. So let's back out. As you can see, I'm up to 129 out of 255 on energy, but I am due to do another loop over there, hit all those ins. I used the in charm, I think twice. Um, and then hit those greenhouses, which will give me some more energy, maybe some better gifts to wit sharpenings, that kind of thing. But anyway, I'm going to max out on some energy or at least get a little bit higher before I leave here going into the adversary event itself. Although this adversary event, I'm just not, I don't even know if I'll finish it. It really just depends how things go. I definitely don't think I'll be going hardcore at it. We'll just see how things develop organically as I do it. The rewards aren't specifically something I really need. Oh, but speaking of that, actually, there is one last thing we're going to do before, before we end this video, which is over at Combat Training, Advanced Adversarial Combat, I am ready for the next, next lethal adversary note, a blessing in Demi guys. Um, accuracy versus lethal should go up 15%. I'll be up to 25% because I got up to 45 of the red spell books and the defense against dark arts books, I got past the 150 that I needed. And then, of course, the scrolls, I need 200 and I have over 11,000. So I'm pretty good there. So let's go ahead and upgrade that slowly making our way down so three more nodes i think i just need yeah it's 40 books but i need 200 defense against the dark arts books and i have 23. so this adversary event does have resources i need but i'm not in any rush to get them i'm not in any rush to unlock this even if lethals come out we'll just see how it goes it may be a, a complete disaster trying to go at it with only two nodes unlocked but we have yet to see or even find out Anyway, it was nice to have a brilliant event that went a little more normal how we're used to it. Having all these events back to back, like the fact that the adversary starts immediately, I still would like some space in between. It just gives people time to brew because I'm super low on potions. I, I even with trying to brew in between during this brilliant event, really not using any. I've still not really been able to restock. I'm not going to be able to fight a lot of adversaries. Now, luckily, um, Peter Pettigrew, or not, it's not Peter Pettigrew, um, Aragog and the Basilisk don't require a lot of potions from me, especially they don't require potents for me. I can definitely use strong stimulos and even maybe just multiple stimulos and healing potions if I use more energy. So coming to a spot like this and fighting would work too. As always, thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys tomorrow. Nonks.